up? It's Bianca back with another guitar tutorial for you. Today we will be doing our first song from the Red album by Taylor Swift. We will be doing We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together and I'm so excited to teach this song to you guys because it is so fun to play. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on your chance to learn some of your favorite songs on guitar. And let me know down in the comments below what other songs you'd like to learn. Alright, so the first thing you need to do before we start playing is definitely make sure your guitar is in standard tuning. If you don't have a tuner, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description so you can go ahead and purchase one because a tuner is a necessity, especially when you're playing guitar. You do not need a capo for this version, which is incredible. We only have four chords and there are no bar chords, so we are loving that. Um, there's one picking pattern that I will show you that you hear in the intro and the verse. There are six strumming patterns. We will be using some techniques called palm muting and chucking. Now, if you're not familiar with either of those techniques, definitely watch my beginner guitar strumming video. We go further into depth on those techniques in that video. So let's go ahead and get to know the four chords that you'll need to know. So first up, we have C at 9. G major. D major. And E minor 7. And that is your chord progression for a majority of the song is C add 9 to G major to D major to E minor 7. Before we get into the picking pattern and the strumming patterns that I have for you, let's go ahead and talk about a beginner strumming pattern that you can use to keep the song as beginner friendly for you, especially if you're just starting out on the guitar. So normally I recommend just a single down strum, but for this song, we are going to mute it after the single down strum. Um, it works better with the B and it sounds really cool. So it would sound like this if you're doing the beginner strumming pattern, it's C at 9. I remember when we broke up the first time, saying this is it, I've had enough, because like we had just go like that so that is an option for you if you're a beginner and it sounds really cool okay so now let's get into that picking pattern that you hear in the intro in the verse so for the C at 9 is gonna start out just like that beginner strumming pattern that I just showed you it'll be down mute and then you switch to G major and you pick the G string the low E string D string G string B B again The D major is down, mute, mute. E minor 7 is the same picking pattern as the G major. So it's G string, low E, D, G, B, B, G, D. All together slowly. speed um, so you can kind of see what it'll look like. So that is the picking pattern. Um, if you don't want to do the picking pattern, if it's a little too difficult for you, I do have an alternative strumming pattern that you can do that kind of mimics um, the picking pattern a little bit. So the C at 9 is the same. So it's down, mute, switch to G major, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, D major, down, mute, mute, E minor, 7, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, all together. like that throughout the verse. Now I will go ahead and show you the way that Taylor plays it live. This is where a palm muting comes in. Your full strumming pattern is down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. But Taylor actually splits it 
um, kind of in half. So the C at nine is down, 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 up, down, up, G major, down, 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 up, D major, down, 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 up, down, up, E minor seven, down, 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 up. All right, now before we add in the palm muting, let's just kind of go through that so you can kind of get um, the transitions down and splitting that strumming pattern. So it'll look like this. in the palm muting. Um, so basically what palm muting is, is you rest this part of your hand on the strings close to the bridge of your guitar to create kind of a percussive effect and it'll sound like this with the chords. I remember when we broke up first time saying this is it I've had enough because like we hadn't seen each other in a month when you said you needed space. What? just like that. Alright, that leads us into the pre-chorus. The strumming pattern is the same and you still palm mute it but we split it in a different section. So the C at 9 is down, 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 up. G major is down, up, down, 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 up. D major, down, 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 up. E minor 7, down, up, down, 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 up. Alright, all together. Let's add in the lyrics so you can kind of get the feel for it. So, ooh, 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 ooh. coming up again this night, but ooh, 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 ooh. this time, and you see for that second E minor seven, I um, lift off the palm muting and just go into regular strumming, um, the same strumming pattern that the E minor seven so gets that down, up, down, down, down up but we let it ring out because that leads you into the chorus and the chorus is a little more amped up so now we're in the chorus so your chord progression is c at nine to g major to d major and then a quick transition between e minor seven to d major again the e minor seven and the d major actually split a measure so the strumming pattern differs just a little bit but we will go get into that as we get further so your strumming pattern is down down mute so C at 9, down, down, mute, G major, down, down, mute, D major, down, down, mute. Now, the E minor 7 and the D major, like I said, share a measure, so the strumming pattern changes to down, down, up for each chord. So it's down, down, up, down, down, up. live we do add in some chucking so basically what chucking is is you take your hand and you put it on the strings like this so you're not playing any chord and it's just muted like that um so your full strumming pattern is down 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 up down up all right so the c at nine down down chuck down up down up g major down down chuck down up down up d major down down chuck down up down up e minor seven down down up d major down so all together. Alright, so now she does change it um, each line. So the second line, when her voice goes higher, she goes, wee that part. Um, she does not do chucking on the C at 9 chord. So... I'll show you what that looks like. So, we never, ever, ever get back together. We never, ever, ever get back together. And then when you get to the you go talk to your friends talk, that part, she actually doesn't do chucking at all. So your strumming pattern changes to the down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, and we split it in half like we did for the pre-chorus. So C at 9, down, 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 up, G major, down, up, down, 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 up, D major, down, 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 up, E minor 7, down, down, up, D major, down, down, up. Alright, so all together, C 
singing it with the lyrics. It'll sound like this. We So on that last D major, you just strum down five times. So down, 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 and you mute it. So down, 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 down. Never, ever, ever getting back together. And that is the chorus. That is everything that you need to know to play We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together by Taylor Swift. So let's get into the full playthrough so you can kind of see how everything adds up in this song. That's it. That's how you play We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together by Taylor Swift. If this tutorial helped you out at all, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on your chance to learn some new songs on guitar. And let me know down in the comments what other songs you'd like to learn. Bye guys. See you next time.